So good afternoon. Uh, our first item of business today is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader is Major Lynn Farmer, Salvation Army in Greenock. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity to be able to address you today. Together, making a difference. The Salvation Army Heritage Centre records that in 1891, William Booth, its founder, opened a matchbox factory. At the time, matchbox making was big business, but the workers, mainly women and children, were being severely exploited as well as exposed to bossy jaw, a painful, disfiguring disease. William Booth's factory introduced fair wages and healthy working conditions attracting attention from Parliament and news reporters, leading to laws that transformed the workplace in general. So in the words of an anonymous writer, it isn't the problems that determine our destiny, it's how we respond. William Boo's response was heart to God and hand to man, soup, soap and salvation. His God-led vision took the Salvation Army to its 131 current countries around the world. He knew that alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. He was a pragmatist to the end, living out Isaiah chapter 1 verse 17, do good, seek justice. His final speech continues to challenge to this day. While women weep as they do now, I'll fight. While children go hungry as they do now, I'll fight. While men go to prison, in and out, in and out, I'll fight. While there is a poor lost girl on the streets, while there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. The Salvation Army in Greenock has an integrated mission approach and it's between the church, the Greenock Floating Support Service for those at risk of losing their housing tenancy and the Scottish Drug and Alcohol Service and Strategy, a recovery programme for people with addictions. So not through a match factory, but a garage project. And it started as an unused garage, which became a meeting place a meeting place for all to peer mentor, prevent social isolation, pick up a bargain at the garage sale, recycle and continues to develop. We have just received planning permission to extend, allowing for a shop and a safe multi-purpose area for our employment plus. So whether it's from a match factory, a garage or the Scottish Parliament, I close with the prayer of Reynold Nabor. God give us grace to accept with serenity the things that cannot be changed. Courage to change the things that should be changed and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Amen. Okay.